my name is Muriel Hassan Azari. I'm an assistant professor with the School of Science and Engineering in Al Akhawan University. The new robotics lab has been created to assist students in the digital industry program in AUI, as well as students taking mechatronics thematic area. Uh, basically to be prepared for uh, the new challenges of the Moroccan industry. When we say the new challenges, we're talking about uh, Industry 4.0. It's all about automation, it's about connectivity, where uh, everything, uh, all elements of a certain uh, industrial uh, site are uh, interconnected. Uh, they have some amount of intelligence in, su in such a way that we can do the control intelligently. And uh, we have feedback from sensors, for instance, and we can display the, the, diff the, the large amount of information. We can, uh, we, can, we can access large amount of information, then process them and display, uh, display them online. We're basically talking about uh, cloud computing, access and the control, uh, the different equipments and, uh, su and supervise uh, the process uh, remotely. And also uh, predict, uh, do some predictions using uh, AI, artificial intelligence, uh, <coughs> whether we're using mach machine to machine, uh, with, I mean, um, whether we're using uh, 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 deep learning, for instance, or uh, uh, neural networks. Uh, so we have uh, we have wide uh, range of uh, uh, of technologies that are used to uh, improve the processes of industry and uh, basically increase profit and uh, shorten the, the the term time for to to produce a certain product. Industry 4.0 is basically is still ongoing. I mean uh, it's it's not. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, we're talking about the current, but also the futuristic uh, uh, industry processes. Uh, and it will affect basically all kinds of um, industry uh, fields, whether we're talking about uh, the agriculture or the food industry or uh, the automotive industry, um, or even the mining, or even uh, we're talking about the mines. Uh, it's all going to be affected by, uh, by Industry 4.0. And let me give you a brief example about uh, the mine industry. I mean, while, while in, the, in the past, uh, in the mines, the mines were using, uh, you know, basic uh, control of the ventilators, for instance, and uh, uh, they, they, they were, um, which, which, was, which was very costly in terms of uh, energy and in terms of, of uh, economics as well. Uh, now we're able to introduce industry 4.0 ideas to control the, like you know, for instance, uh, uh, ventilators and shutters and improve the energy efficiency through what we call VOD, ventilation on demand, to, through what we call uh, tracking, like mining tracking. And there, are, there, are, there is actually a wide range of uh, applications. We're also talking about monitoring, how we can monitor the different mining machines and different uh, equipment and uh, remotely by a certain uh, uh, command station. Following demonstration, we will uh, demonstrate some trends of the Industry 4.0. We will demonstrate, uh, for instance, uh, digital trend twin, where we're talking about uh, modeling of physical devices uh, digitally, where uh, we're talking about uh, simulations and uh, how we can uh, how we can test and analyze uh, physical systems digitally, and uh, of course, once once it's uh, it's working digitally, we can demonstrate that it's basically uh, doing the same thing in the real in uh, in, in the practical uh, sense. I mean, in, uh, with the real physical system, and this uh, this allows us to save time and to uh, optimize uh, our time and come up with uh, with uh, engineering solutions in shorter time.